Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today we're going to unbox something um, that um, I'm sure many of you, especially around this time, whether you're on this side of uh, the ocean or in Europe or in the US, that side of the world, uh, even in Africa, North Africa, everywhere, it's so cold. We're having such a cold winter, so many snowfall. So this is something that probably many of you will appreciate, this little thing that we'll be uh, sharing with you um, in a bit. Um, first, what I want to say about this is that this is ideal for people that are living in small homes. If you have a small apartment or a small home, whatever, and you're looking for something to warm up um, your place, like, for example, here in Amsterdam, uh, most of the houses are not, you know, not perfect, you know, to rearrange them and add uh, heaters all throughout your house. And they don't have central heating either. We don't have central heating, no, most of them. You can do it, but it's a lot of money and a lot of fuss and you will be, you know, more or less kind of have to do a lot of rebuilding inside your home. So... Another solution is find something that's perfect, works good, and is suitable for your size of uh, your home. Like a yeah, so, so what we have, we have one main heater, which yes. is a gas heater yeah. in the living room. Let uh, me show that as our, in this um, vlog. So this is what we have. We don't have that big of an apartment. We have this one, which really works good. You know, it really warms up the place, the living room. And a little bit of the, the the hole here, right here. But what you do notice is that as soon as you start to walk back to the back of this little house, no matter how little it is, as soon as you start to, to walk back here in the kitchen, for example, you know, we have a balcony here. Like with this winter, we had a lot of snowfall just sitting there. You do feel the temperature drop. Like there's a huge difference from the back, between the back and here. Yeah, and normally... Uh, all of our neighbors have a heat heater installed here where we have the, um, the gas um, yeah um, but as we've removed this kitchen from that area to here this is now the living uh, the bedroom yeah, this used to be the kitchen that's yeah. the bedroom uh, so there is um, a chimney channel here uh, but we you for the heater put, yeah you, you can't put a you can't get uh, you a cannot get to anymore. it no no, no, but you can't put a heater there anymore because we have the entire kitchen in front of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but but this is very specific, you know, to our uh, arrangement that we have here. But um, so yeah, so ever since we've been looking for something that's perfect, that's not too big, uh, just something to um, you know, uh, complement the other heater that we have that I just showed you. We couldn't find it. We didn't really look into it. And then some... Yeah, I did. I yeah? did over the years because I live here now for how many years? 15? Something like that. 15, 16. And uh, I, I looked into electric heaters and they're always very expensive. But they seem, seem to drop to have dropped now in price. And what actually happened when, uh, when we had the snow and the ice yeah uh, last week we had this very tiny electric heater yeah that i got from mom the attic. there it is the attic. this is this will go outside for, with the trash but this little thing that i once got from mom and she has she has it sitting in her um what do you say that in her storage space not using it yeah and what we saw that although that was very small it was actually quite good yeah to heat this entire yeah this entire, kitchen entire this entire to, to heat the kitchen. yeah no to heat this whole kitchen and the <laughs> living room the the bedroom you guys yeah so we have a small bedroom but so it was enough and it had this timer uh so uh we set it on i don't know 17 degrees i think it was so it had this timer whenever the temperature would drop below 17 it will go up but that's that little thing right there you know yeah so what? So then, that encouraged us to go and look for something similar, but then maybe a little yeah, bit because, modern. You know, it's it's always it it can be chilly in the kitchen. Yeah. Especially when you get out of bed and you say, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and you just feel it because the, the 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 main heater just can't get the heat through this. No, they can't push it hallway. all the way to it, this. It 
So uh, it's not freezing here, of course, but it's it's. It can get cold. Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can cold. discourage you from not getting out of bed. It can be the difference between getting out of bed and not getting out of bed early in the morning. So, like I said, because that little thing uh, taught us that if it's good, it can warm up the place, and it actually yeah, and it, did. It, yeah, and it only needs a little bit because that that thing wasn't five hundred watts. Yeah, it was a small thing. Yeah. So we now bought a, a very reasonably pli- priced uh, electric heater of 600 watts, which we are going to install here permanently. Designed by Mill in Norway, yeah. Look, it says it's a unique design. It has no sharp edges. No, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Yeah, easy to place, day and night program. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's also programmed- um, With your smartphone. By an app on your smartphone. Okay, so this it's this model, IB six hundred DN. This is the power. This is the size. Approved for wet room. Yeah, so you can also install it in your bathroom. In your bathroom, yeah, exactly. Uh, what most, else? This is it. Most of of the bathrooms are bigger than our kitchen. <laughs> yeah, most of them. We're living in a Smurf house, but it is cozy and full with love. That's the nice main view. thing. And a nice view. The other view, yeah. The, the the view on the other side. This is going to be a video on itself, so I will remind me to show in this video the view. But yeah, this is this is what it is, you guys. See? It really reminds me of the early Apple design. It's white and slick. Yeah, let me get it out of there. It comes with the screws that you need, a manual. Because it is actually very straightforward. It's yeah. just an electric heater which is which you can put in uh, in your house permanently and it looks great. Yeah. It really like looks it really does look like something Apple could have designed. Just design wise, I don't know, something about the smooth no edges design and the white color. So what Mike just you took can off. See it's very um, thin. Yeah. As well. So this is your wall side. So it doesn't stick out that much. Yeah, see? Yeah, it doesn't. And this, this is, is where you're looks, looking at. Looks like. Can you remove the holder? Oh, yeah. So look, this is what you're looking at. It's like a tablet. Yeah. And it does have nice, smooth edges. It's really nice design. I mean, if you were to see it and not know it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to guess what this is. Yeah, so what we, uh, what we are going to do yeah. is going to install this. Under the table. Under the table, on the wall. Under the table. So something okay. s- somewhere over there. Which the cats will appreciate even more because they love to be here under the table. Yeah. So, and it should fit. It should fit. We don't have a lot of space right there. This is the litter box. We did a review of that. If you guys haven't seen, if you have cats and you're too lazy to like, you know, be on it every day, every hour, every day, get this. It's perfect and it's hygienic and clean. So, yeah, so this is the space. Now Mike is referring to under the table. That's the space between the wall and the table. And it should fit right there easily with no problem. Yeah. So, I don't know you guys. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna install it on the, the, the wall and then, you know, come back to you after we've used it. After yeah. at least it's one- installation. So we're going to put this on the wall first. Yeah. And we take it from there. All right, but we don't have to show you guys the installation because it's just, you know, straightforward. Just mount this on the wall and then this on it, like you would with TV. Yeah. Yeah. Only this is a lot more, a lot more easier to handle. So for those of you that are here for the first time watching this video, this is the view Mike was referring to. We're thankful for this view, although we live small. And it's actually just starting to melt. Can you guys see it? This is still the frozen side of the canal. See how this line goes? That's the ice. We had people ice skating here and it was so crowded. It was like crazy. Uh, So yeah, so we had that. Now we have this. To be honest, we missed the water. 
So guys, there it is. This is how we ended up. You know, we did a little bit of measuring, making sure that it's between these parts of the table. Yeah, you know, we're, we're not going to uh, put it at uh, 25 degrees ever, Exactly. So. so we're not worried that it will have like a huge impact on the wood no. of the table. So, so it's it's just something to, to take the, the air is not yeah. chilly anymore. Exactly. That is how we, uh, how we do that. Mike is, is telling you that in regard of all the things that's close to it, you know, the litter box, the table. But of course, if you have free space, then, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, pump up the heat. It's not going to affect anything. I mean, if it's mounted on the wall. Uh, but yeah, if you have like a wooden floor or something close to it, make sure that, um, uh, yeah, you know, you consider that yeah, in regard of how high it, how it should be. Is get rid of that. This? No, the, the oh, that. socket. Yeah, which is it's too much. Really. Exactly. This but has to go a, as it is. It takes oh, no. about one and a half weeks already for the... Uh, for the... Things to get, to get here, to yeah, arrive here? Things to get here. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's so busy. Weird. I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's... Uh, it's this... already uh, in the post for one and a half weeks. Yeah. This is how high it is from the wooden floor. And like I said, because we're not going to uh, pump up the heat, Miko, but uh, just to be on the safe side, if you have a wooden floor and stuff around it, make sure that it's clear and just mount it a little bit higher than maybe. But uh, yeah, plus it's really easy to turn on. You just go like this with your finger and you turn it on. This is the turn on and off and there is a button. And here you have the there thermostat. Yeah. And here you can see. Oh, Siri, pause. Otherwise, you're gonna get copyright strike. Hey, Siri, pause. So here you can see what what is. I'm sorry, guys. We had to take care of Siri, but yeah, this is. These are the other settings. See, you can set it on day, night settings, and this is how. You go from low to high. I mean, it all speaks for itself. So guys, in this video, we're still finishing the installation of that heater that we got. Look, Mike managed, he did a great job. He managed to get rid of all the cables. So there it is eventually. See, and that, so that's how it gets wise guy. Yeah, that's how it gets its power. So it's all out of sight, literally. And now we're gonna be able to connect this with the Wi-Fi and then control it from the smartphone. Yeah, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Yeah. Yeah, because I've set up a uh, temperature sensor. It has one built-in, but I would like to set it. So that's what it has, a temperature sensor that yeah. it senses, it se that it, it does that by itself as soon as yeah. it drops below that. Yeah. It okay, has. so that's really good. It has, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, we have an external temp temperature sensor. Yeah. Which is connected to you. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to install that one. That is for the people that are into the, the HUE uh, concept. Yeah. H-U-A-E. I'm sorry, it's H-U-E. lighting system. Yeah, the Philips lighting system. So I have... So bought because an extra sensor which is mounted on the table on that side this one yeah Where is it? oh there it is yeah and that's going to be the external temperature sensor so this one is going to give the information to the heater and as soon as yes. this this sensor senses that it, it dropped below the temperature that we set in as our favorite temperature then it will to, kick in yeah it's going to turn on the on off switch yeah you see there yes that's a, that's a U on off switch. That is a U on off switch, this one. Yeah. So if you guys want to set it up like this, just giving you some idea, then it will be even better because you, then, you know, you're, com it's, you're completely, uh, how do you say that? Yeah. You don't have to do anything anymore. So my idea was, if the, the U temperature sensor senses that it will drop below 18 degrees. Yeah it will automatically turn this on. Yeah. And then it will turn on to a preset temperature we have here. And I'm not sure what that is yet. <laughs> we have to still have to decide that. 
and once it reaches that point it will turn off all right well so basically it's more or less the same as the built-in temperature setting but it will be completely off. in the loop it yeah will be completely off when not in use yeah, so that's, that's, that's great. Why I did it like that. And by by connecting it into the Hue World in, in, in network in your home, it will be part of your home. It will be part of the, the whole network that you have. So, I think that's wonderful. That's something that you can do. You don't have to do that. I mean, if you if you don't have the Hue network, if, or or you don't know what a Hue is, maybe uh, in other countries they have other concepts. But look it up, you guys. It's wonderful. It's like you're living in a Star Trek home. You, everything is just. You know, everything happens while you give the command through your smartphone or sometimes through through Siri. So, um, yeah, you can do that. But if you don't have that or you don't understand how to set it up, you can just get this and just use it as is, you know, just like that, the traditional way of using it. So, which is, of course, also fine. Anyway, this is it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe next segment we will be telling you something about how we... The, the experience that we had with setting the temperature, whether that was difficult or not, I don't think so. Yeah, it's very... we're going to revisit this. Yeah, and come back to you guys. So just to give you guys a picture of what that thing is standing, it's behind Mike against the wall, and this is the kitchen table, which will be pushed back to the wall. So that heater will be completely out of sight. What? We're running out of sockets in the home. <laughs> We're running out of sockets. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we had a lot of stuff plugged in there and a lot of stuff plugged in right there. So, and, and we both and hate so that. A lot of cables hanging and just, you know, just Look terrible. jammed on each other. It's just a terrible sight. And then we cleaned up some stuff that we're not going to be using. Um, so yeah, you just use this as a chance to, you know, also do a little bit of thinning out stuff that you're not going to be using anymore. When you have a stubborn, a hard-headed cat like Miko, you cannot go straight with your project. You just need to stop and give him food. Normally, this is not his eat, uh, feeding time. So, uh, but uh, then normally we can just ignore him, but right now he's running around in this little kitchen and it just works on our nerves. <laughs> so we have to take a break and let him have his food. He's so cute. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Let's, let's say hello to Miko while he's enjoying his food. He just loves his food. Beautiful weather outside. It's just gorgeous. So, guys. Uh, so the last segment for this video. I'm sorry, we were cleaning, big cleaning. Just love mopping, the old-fashioned way. Although we have this thing that does the mopping, like you know, automatically. But I set the mic. Just set it off when we're home. I'd love to do the, the mopping the old fashioned way. So, but that thing is amazing. You can vacuum and do the mopping. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for to wrap up this little video about this heater that we bought. It actually works, you guys, yesterday for the first time because I always complain about cold feet during winter months. Uh, but yesterday, for the first time, I felt like I was going to pass out. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. This is not like. Um, cynical use of language this is literally i felt that at some point that i was gonna pass out because it was too hot for me so uh i don't think that's coincidence so this thing really does heat up the place it does uh warm up the place and it really uh, compensates for whatever other uh you know uh, cold rooms you, uh, you still may have in your home if if whatever heating you're, you're using whatever system you're using for heating up your place is not enough you know get this and I think they have them in two sizes, right, Mike? I mean, uh, all kinds of sizes. Oh, they have all kinds of sizes. 
So, uh, depending on how... This is one of the smallest. So, can you, can you imagine, you guys, this is one of the smallest and the house is really warm. Now, I must this say... This is 600 watts and they, I think they go up to 2200 watts. Okay. Yeah. We're cleaning the automatic uh, litter box. Uh, uh, auto... What is it? The robot. The robot. Litter robot, yeah. So every, we're like the little Jensen's family. Everything here is automatically. But yeah, guys, coming back to this to wrap up the video, this thing is good. That's what I can tell you. I mean, just, you know, as is, straightforward. This is, this is, uh, it does the job. It really does. So, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. I don't know what else to tell you. We hope this can help you in your decision-making process. And um, if you have any questions, let us know. I mean, anything that we can tell you from, you know, the experience now that we have it, I mean, we, we'd be happy to. So anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. And uh, stay safe. Stay safe. Crazy world out there. I just heard that my family completely is infected with COVID and mom is not doing really well. So uh, please keep hearing your praise, you guys. But crazy world out there. Please, guys, COVID is real. Okay, just stay safe out there. All right, thank you so much for watching and um, take good care. And please feel free to come back or go check out any other videos that we have on this channel. I'm sure the, um, they'll entertain you in one way or another. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and all that. Love you guys and uh, see you in the next video. God willing.